stuck on what decorations to make for your baby shaka doodoo party? Watch this video where I show you my exact steps on how I made these shaka doodoo doo <laughs> party cupcake toppers. So this year your child's having a baby shaka doo, doo party and you've had a look around and you haven't been able to find any decorations that you're wanting to use. Well, by the end of this video, you'll have a step-by-step -step guide that can be your go-to for customizing your child's party decorations. My tutorials have helped hundreds of moms out teaching them how they can customize their own party decorations without having to break the bank. So the software we're gonna be using today is a Celeroid Studio. For those of you that know my channel, know that I love making my party decorations in Silhouette Studios. For those of you that don't know what Sil uh, Silhouette America is, it's a designing software that is free to download, but it comes with different types of cutting machines. And these cutting machines are electronic cutting machines that can cut a variety of different materials that crafters use. And, and um, anything from vinyl to fabrics to cardstock, and can pretty much cut up to about 12 inches wide and about 10 feet long. So it is a great cutting machine and it has reduced my time of making party decorations from hours upon hours cutting by hand to just a few minutes of just cutting it out. So all you need to do is to download their software. It is free to download. All right, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Google and you just type in Silhouette Studio and let's find the link. The link is over here and we're gonna click onto it. I'll also link this below the video and it is silhouetteamerica.com forward slash software. All right, so we have the current version which is a 4.1.479 and we are going to click onto Windows or Mac, whichever computer you have and you just go through the process of downloading it onto your computer. So once you've downloaded your software, all you need to do is to double click onto it and it will start to bring you through the whole setup process. Now, once you've finished doing the whole setup process, you will be brought to a screen that looks like this. Now, yours might look a little bit different to mine because I've got the upgraded business edition um, software so mine might be a little bit different to yours but you can do the exact same techniques I'm going to show you with using the software that comes free um, on their on their site all right so this is the main screen once again don't let it overwhelm you there are a lot of buttons but it is very easy to use first thing I need to recommend is that you have got the correct setup canvas on your computer so in order to make sure that you have the correct paper that we're going to be using, all you need to do is to head on to the right hand side here and click onto page setup and then the sizing of the page, the sizing of the paper that you will be printing on will appear here and that's the one you will select. So once again, whatever paper that you are going to be printing with is the paper setup size that you are going to be using on your screen. So we are going to, now in Australia, I use A4 paper size, but for this tutorial purpose, I'm going to be using the US letter size, which is this one right here. And everything else is gonna say the same, so I'm just going to hit enter. And that's what's gonna bring you up this white box. Now, this box that's around there is pretty much just the cutting mat. So just ignore that, just focus on the actual canvas, the white canvas that we're gonna be working with. Okay, so but before we start designing, let's go ahead and find what clip art we are wanting to use. So Etsy is my go-to place for purchasing my clip art. And all I would do is click onto Etsy and sh shark clip art and let's see what comes up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna scroll through and see which ones appeal to us. Now, for those of you that don't really understand clip art or want to find out some more information, I'll link down below this video a tutorial that I did on pretty much everything to do with clip art. So feel free to check it out. So we are going to go ahead and I am going to use this one here, which is only $1.57. I think it is a bargain and things that you need to look out for is pretty much that it is a, P a PNG file and it's 300 dpi but i have used these guys for quite 
a bit of my clip art so I'd highly recommend them one so let's head over here first thing I would do is I would download my clip art into my library all right and on the left hand side here so all I did was we were in the main screen and I will click onto library and here are all my folders that I've got okay and I'm gonna make a new folder and I am gonna call this one right click onto it hit new folder and where are you there you are though and then I am just going to call you under the sea so that if I ever do anything else then I know that that's where it's all going to be all right so let's go ahead and locate our clip art here is mine and I am just going to bring in these ones here so I've just highlighted them and let's drag them straight into the folder and they are going to slowly but surely they are going to and there are my clip art so perfect let's head back to the design section alrighty so to start making our cupcake toppers all you need to do is on the left hand side here you will see your shape tool now yours might be a little bit different to mine um, it really depends on what was the last time you've what was the last shape you selected so all you're going to do is click on to this oval shape or what's known as the ellipse tool and you're going to click onto that and your mouse is now become almost like a cross sign and we're going to make a circle so all we're going to do is hit the shift button and i'm going to drag it to exactly two inches okay which is about let's say there all right so by holding the shift key down while you click and drag it actually keeps the proportion of your shape all right and then we're just going to hit the select tool so that we can unselect us using that ellipse tool we're now going to click onto our circle and we're going to head over to our library which is right here and i am going to click on to this cute little under under water clip art and there we go it has now converted my oval or my circle into that particular wallpaper I wanted to use okay the next thing I'm going to do is just click over here and I'm just going to make the circle rim white so that now you can't see it okay now let's keep moving on so all we're going to do now is make sure you've unselected the circle and we're going to head back to our head back to our library and all we're going to do is I'm going to go with this little guy here and I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit merge and that is now going to bring him into the canvas that I will be using. All right, so now all we need to do is click and we're going to drag him a lot smaller and we're going to bring him into our design. As you can see, he has got a transparent background, which is exactly what you want, um, which is a PNG file, okay? So all we need to do is bring in him and let's bring him just to about say there. All right, fantastic. Okay, all right, so I'm wanting to add some balloons to this cupcake topper. So all I'm gonna do is go back over to library and I'm just gonna head over to my birthdays folder, which is just over here. And there are the balloons that I'm wanting to use. So, sorry, all I'm going to do is a double click onto it and right click, cut those and paste them in here. And I'm just gonna reduce that. Now we don't need to do any removing of any backgrounds because it is a transparent background okay and there he is there let's just bring him further up but i'm wanting to be behind the shark so all i'm going to do is right click and i'm going to click on to send backwards okay and now he is actually behind so if we just scroll in here a little bit you can see he is now behind all right i think that is looking pretty cool all right, so all I'm going to do now is I'm wanting to add in some happy birthday. So I'm going to go over here and you can either click on to whichever font design you want. Or if you click over here onto the right hand side, it'll also bring up all of your fonts. Okay, so the one that I'm going to be using is one that I've already selected, which is Mr. Stretch. Okay, so you click onto that and let's hover back onto our canvas and I'm just going to type in do actually no I'm gonna type in happy okay and you can't see it at the moment because it is white so let's just hover over it let's just take you off and I am wanting to make it say this red color 
and there he is there I am going to click onto this and I'm going to do an offset and I'm just going to make the offset once again 20 and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on to white and I'm going to make the background also white but once again remember that you can't really see it so if I actually drag it maybe say up here you'll be able to see it okay but remember that if you click onto that it's actually not going to group it's not together so you need to make sure that you go let's just head back there and you need to group it back together in order for it to stick together all right to be as one piece okay so let's just reduce that down and let's see where we're going to put them let's say about there looks pretty good all right because i'm happy with the size i'm actually going to right click it and duplicate it all right but if you double click onto it it's not going to let you design um, to change the actual wording so what we need to do is ungroup it first drag it down let's just delete that part there you can't see it because it's white all right and here it is now if you double click you'll be able to change the wording so let's go birthday all right and i'm just going to highlight it again and i'm going to hit an offset and once again it's going to be 0 0.0220 apply or hit enter and then i'm going to change the offset color to white and the line is also going to be white highlight it again and group it i'm then going to bring it over to there all right so once you're happy with your design let's just drag him further out that way all right we're going to group it together and he is now one piece so now the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to click on to object replicate and I'm going to fill my page and it's going to take a second and voila it's now filled my entire page now it does waste a lot of space and I don't particularly like that but it kind of gives me um, an idea of how many I can get onto a page all right so then I would just scoot these all over all right and move that up and move that up okay and then I would just keep adding on so now we want to print and cut these the best way to do this is we're going to for instance this whole page is done and we're happy with it all we're going to do is click on to file and we are going to go to print page setup now you want to make sure that your page is exactly the same set up exactly the same as what is on your canvas okay and for instance my printer will only print a4 doesn't print out us letter size but because i made this in a letter size we're just going to pretend that i live in america and i print on us letter size so all i would do then is click on to whatever page whatever paper that i'm using okay and then you would hit OK. Now, the next thing you would do is you would just hit print and you would just print it out, okay? Once you've printed, you can either then go ahead and cut it by hand and you, you can go ahead and start making your cupcake toppers or you would then print this out with, sorry, cut this out with your cutting machine. All right, and this is what I would do. So first things first is once you print it out, you add it to your mat, you load it into your machine and we're going to highlight everything and we're going to click send so when you have a look at your screen you'll see there's a lot of red all right and this is pretty much telling you exactly what the cutting machine is going to cut out and we obviously are wanting to cut out a cupcake topper which is round we don't want to be cutting out every single little detail that is on our cupcake topper so in order to change that all we need to do is to click cut edge and now it's just going to change it to cutting the circle around it all right so which is a pretty cool thing to have the next thing you need to do is to make sure that all of your settings are correct okay so i like to keep it on about three or four run about there speed is fine my forces are fine everything else is fine and then i would just hit send all right guys now you know exactly how you can make your own cupcake toppers and to make it a little bit more easier for you, I have put together a basic start guide that has all the steps that I just showed you, which you are welcome to download. The link is down below this video. Also, if you're wanting to use these um, shark cupcake toppers that I have just demonstrated how to make for your child's birthday, then please feel free to download it. I will link it down below this video where you can get the template from. 
all right guys so that is the end of this tutorial if you like this video please let me know by liking it below subscribe and share it with all your friends and family and comment below if you found this video helpful and what your biggest takeaway was from this video i always love to see your comments all right guys i'll see you guys in the next video take care bye